Yes, one fuller has already been dealt. Can we make it a pair? Here's our next act. Hi, it's Kelvin Chow here. I'm a magician and a cop mechanic. I'm born and raised from Hong Kong. I was quite arrogant back then when I was a kid. I was pretty good at math and physics. I, I thought I know how the world works. And then I saw a guy who did a SpongeBob routine on the street and they fooled me so badly. I just couldn't handle it. When the ball multiplied in my hand, it just blew me away. I was fascinated by how easy it is to deceive another person. And that's where I start to learn a lot more about magic. I, I create most of the trick I do. I hope I am going to fool Penn Teller. If I can fool Penn Teller, I can convince my wife that my cut trick is actually worth watching. From Hong Kong, give it up for the card mastery of Kelvin Chow. Hi, everyone. Hello, everyone. It's Kelvin Chow here. Most people have this concept about magic, that they think magic happens in our hand. But actually, it's all up in your head. All magicians are doing is help you imagine the magic. Let me demonstrate. What I'm doing right now is merely putting this into the shape of a deck of cards. But once I told you this, and once you start thinking, it will actually Pierce inside. Some of you may notice all the cuts are still blank. There's nothing on them at the moment. And uh, I need someone to help me out. Mr. Penn, would you mind? Now, uh, there are 52 cuts in your deck, yes? Yes. And there are number cuts and picture cuts. Yes, there are. Which one do you think would be more difficult to imagine, numbers or pictures? Uh, for me, pictures. And there are Jack, Queen, and King in the picture cuts. Which one do you prefer? Uh, I would go with Jack. The Jack? And there are four suits in the Jack, right? Do you have a favorite? I'll say clubs. Jack and oh, clubs. clubs. Yeah. This is a free choice, yes? Yeah, I think so. Excellent. Perfect. Thank you so much. Now, everyone, I want you guys to imagine the card that I'm holding right now is actually the Jack of clubs. If you focus, you can see slowly. Changes into a Jack of clubs. This is the first one. Thank you. Since we're already thinking of jacks, let's imagine the other black jacks, shall we? The, the next black jack will be the jack of spade. And this time, let's do it in slow motion. All you need to do is just stare at the center of the card. And can you see some color? It slowly appears front and back. And the color will grow into the body, the head, and a complete Jack of Spades. Now just two done, and 50 more to go. For the next more two, for the next Jack, let's speed up a little bit. Uh, the next two will be the Red Jacks, and let's do them both together. Just imagine, those are the two Red Jacks. First, the Jack of Pots, and the Diamonds. Now, everyone, please, I want you to think of a cut that you like. Imagine the cut you're thinking of is somewhere in this pack. If you focus on your card, you can actually see the cut you're thinking of will slowly, slowly appear. Not just one, not just two, but every single one of them. Thank you. Now, we have a deck of cards made with our imagination. There's actually quite a few special things you can do with this. And let's try this with the Ace of Diamonds here. And also bought here with me some special stickers that can help us with the imagination game. To use those stickers, it's really simple. All you need to do is just tape it on the Ace of Diamonds like this. Because of the design of the stickers, it actually creates a very special optical illusion because it looks like the back of the card, right? The stickers. Once it's placed on top of the deck, it looks like there's a hole on the Ace of Diamonds, right? But because this is an imaginary deck, once you think it's a reality, it becomes the reality. 
And now, let's try this one more time. If you have a good imagination, you don't even need to use the stickers. And let's try this with the six of clubs here. Just imagine the six of clubs as a whole, like the ace of diamonds. Just by merely thinking about it would be enough to change the reality. And if we all think about it together, we can even extend this to the entire pack. But remember, all of those are just your imagination. A moment ago, those were not even playing cards. Those were just some blank piece of paper, right? And once you stop thinking, they will actually change back to blank. Not just one, not just two, but every single one of them to go back to blank. Except for one and only one, the ace of diamonds on the table. But just like the other, this is nothing but your imagination. So if you stop thinking about it, you can actually see the ace of diamonds slowly. Disappear. Because from the very beginning, there were only two things. Your imagination and a piece of paper. I'm so impressed. Thank you. How, how long have you been doing Me too. magic? Uh, <laughs> Good. You should be. Uh, yes. Uh, only a long time, about like 10 plus years. Wow. I lose count. Do you perform in Hong Kong? Uh, a little bit. I'm not a professional, but sometimes I do get to do shows oh. in Hong Kong. Really? I feel like this will help you, right? Yes, certainly. You... Certainly it would. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. And so what else do you do? Uh, that's the problem with most magicians. We don't do much else besides magic. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, they're writing a lot. They're not talking to each other. They're just writing. Mm. What do you think? I don't know. I, I, I did a bunch of tricks, and that's my strategy. There's like a whole bunch of them. I don't know how many of them can see through it. How many tricks were there? Can you tell me that? Oh, wow. I, I lost count myself. All right. Let's see if Penn and Teller can figure out how you did all those tricks. Absolutely. All right, Penn, tell her. Yeah, there's so many tricks in there that you couldn't count them, right? <laughs> yes, Know what yes. you said? There's a lot of tricks, and there's a That's lot right. of skill, and just crazy amounts of practice. I mean, just acrobatic, uh, just amazing, amazing stuff going on. And also, I love the fact that there's a, uh, there's a plot other than find a card, you know? Oh. There's nothing more powerful and just telling someone to name a card and then being able to do miracles with that. Because if you. you really had magical powers, you wouldn't say pick a card to get one, you'd say name one. And you did that. And then all the stuff is so visual and pretty and really, really nice. I, I like the fact that it's a, it's a visceral act and you get the audience gasping and doing stuff. And there are so many things on our notes. And there were so many puns and names we'd have to reference oh. and I can't do it. There's a zillion things. So Teller has written down a few things that sure. might uh, might enlighten you as to what we thought. <laughs> oh wow. That's just Teller writing out that he's offering him money if he backs down. <laughs> Pretty much. Pretty much it. <laughs> <laughs> so did Teller give you enough information? Well, thank you, Kelvin Chow.